Hello everyone, this is Richard from Taiwan. Uh, actually, I'm Richard Wu from Taiwan. And uh, today I'm going to talk about one important English grammar. And hopefully you can join me. And also we learn every day a little bit. Gradually and slowly we improve ourselves. We improve our spoken ability. We improve our English grammar. The most important of all is to learn every day. We don't stop learning, okay? Hello, Yan Mel. It's very nice to see you. And today I'm going to talk about uh, one English grammar. And this grammar is very important uh, in some big tests or exams. And uh, sometimes we are so confused at these English grammar and exactly that's not so easy for you and even for me and uh, once again I am Richard Wu from Taiwan and I love to share my knowledge in English with you guys my English is not that good but uh, I'm trying so hard to learn every day to share every day hopefully you can grow up with me you can learn something with me okay so let's get started Okay, let's get started and hopefully let's do it right now. Okay, and today is Sunday. Hopefully, we can learn something new on this brand new day. Okay, so let's get started. And today's topic, today's grammar is so that and such that. Let's talk about it. How to use so that and such that and how to distinguish the two different usages in English. Some people really get used to it, uh, get confused to add it, and uh, you know, sometimes I get confused too. So let's do it, let's get started. Okay, so let me switch my camera. Okay, today's topic is how to use so that and such that. Okay, so okay, I'm from Taiwan, yeah, I'm from Taiwan, and the first of all, let us talk about how to distinguish so that and such that okay so let's do it if you are confused at the two sentence patterns so let's get through it okay I'm doing so great yeah thank you so very much to join me okay okay so how to distinguish that hello star Lee and uh, let's talk about so that first okay and all the time we use subject plus verb and plus so that sentence pattern and remember that this is very important whenever you use so that especially the word so you follow with one adjective or one adverb and don't worry I'll give you some example sentences okay and uh, also the second key point is whenever you use that here you should follow with a close and what is a close? Simply speaking, uh, close is a sentence. Okay, a close means a sub sentence. Uh, you don't have to really know and understand what is a sub sentence. You just know that we often use a close, and close means a sentence. Okay, close means a sentence. Then I'll tell you what's that. Okay, so once again, subject plus verb plus so that sentence pattern and uh, when you use so remember to follow with one adjective or one adverb and whenever you use that here remember to follow with one sentence okay one sentence close is a sentence okay I know it is very hard and confusing for you but don't be afraid because right now I'll give you one example so you can have a better understanding about so that sentence pattern. Okay, so let's do it. Let me give you one example. When I use adjective here, the example is for an adjective. So let's talk about it. Richard is so handsome. Yeah, that's really, that's uh, talking about myself. I'm so handsome, seriously. <laughs> Richard is so handsome. So let's see something different here. Whenever you use so, whenever you use so here, remember to follow one adjective here. Handsome is an adjective. Handsome is an adjective. So that is correct. 
and then so that we use that and remember that you should follow with one clause which is a sentence after that so remember that you use that then you follow with one sentence here so you see subject and verb and that forms a basic sentence here remember this whenever you use that you should follow with one sentence after that okay this is very important okay so I'll read the sentence again for you Richard subject right Richard subject is be verb right is be verb so and we follow with one adjective and handsome right so handsome that and we follow with one complete sentence here so remember this that every lady loves him oh really seriously i'm so handsome so lots so ladies love me i hope so okay yeah i'm uh, hopefully yeah hopefully and uh, this example is for adjectives okay then I also tell you that so can also follow with one adverb. So I'll give you some examples about how we use adverb in so that sentence pattern. Okay, let's do it. Peter plays basketball so well. And here, remember that we can also use ad, uh, adverb after the word so. See, well is an adverb. And why we use adverb here? because the adverb mod, uh, modify the word the verb here so we use an adverb here okay adverb so can also follow with one adverb this is the example for adjective this is the example for adverb <laughs> thank you Vina Kuma thank you so much for your uh, how, how can I say that yeah for your wish for your wish okay so at the verb that all the time we follow with one sentence after that this is very important sometimes this sentence pattern is very important okay you have to know that so this is a example for adverb okay adverb well is an adverb okay peter plays basketball so well that he has lots of fans okay uh, I know this is a little bit hard, so I'll give you one more example for adverb. Winnie ran so fast that she won the champion in the race. Okay, so Winnie ran so fast. Here, fast is an adverb, so just like what I said, so can follow with one adverb. And why we use adverb here? because this adverb modify the verb rain okay so this sentence is correct so can also follow with one adverb so remember that all the time so can follow with like adverb and adjective and the adverb and here that she won the championship in the uh, sorry the champion in the race that follow with one sentence here okay so this is the sentence pattern of so that okay right now I'll give you one sentence and please you tell me this sentence is right or wrong okay Leo was so tired that sleep is it correct is this sentence correct why it is wrong why this sentence is wrong can you tell me the reasons why okay think about it so follow with one adjective and the adverb right so is it uh, correct here yes it is correct here it is correct here so tired adjective here it is correct that sleep oh no sleep is a verb we should follow with one sentence after that so here we can see the reason why we cannot use sleep here I should use he slept something like that he slept then this sentence would be correct because we should use a sentence after that so remember this key point okay 
yeah maybe I should use championship here yeah I'm so sorry championship is the correct word here because champion is like we are refer to a person and championship is a kind of qualification so one the qualification of championship I should use championship here thank you for your correction Uma Kuma sorry Kuma and uh, all the time we learn a lot from our mistakes so don't be afraid of making mistakes seriously okay so we just talked about so that then let's talk about how to distinguish such that okay such that such that and we talk about that in previous time we use so plus adjective and adverb and right now we use such for a noun okay we use such for a noun and that plus one sentence which is a close okay subject plus verb plus such that and you should always follow with a num okay a num okay that plus close okay I know it is very difficult to understand the grammar rules here so why not use some example sentences to make us have a better understanding so let's do it right now okay let's see the example sentence here Habib is such a smart man that he seems to know everything okay so Habib subject Habib subject is be verb right such that right such that such that and what should we do after such of course we should follow one noun here a smart man is a noun and uh, viewers all the time you know the rules but all the time you forget the article here uh, you forget the word er or m here then you like uh, you cannot get it completely correct because sometimes you forget the article uh, here so remember it all the time if the if the num is a countable num all the time remember to add a uh or n okay this is something you will forget in a test so remember this okay and then this is a num so that is a very correct sentence pattern here okay and that we always the same just the same like so that we follow with one sentence here he seems to know everything subject and verb one sentence here after that okay so remember such that such follow with one noun and remember the article here okay and let's see another sentence here it was such a sunny day that everybody wanted to stay at home okay it subject was be verb such that such that and we follow with one noun here a sunny day is a noun okay it's a noun remember the article uh, okay don't forget that sometimes we forget that okay and that we follow with one sentence after that so that's the sentence pattern here and right now I'll give you one test one quiz is this a correct sentence it was such an interesting movie that saw it twice can you see something wrong with this sentence it was such an interesting movie that saw it twice okay let's check such first we should follow with one noun after such an interesting movie correct this is a noun and we don't forget the article uh, or in here this part is correct and be sure to check the other part that we should follow with one sentence after that so is this correct of course not 
because we don't have a subject here. So maybe I should add I here. That I saw it twice. Then this would be correct because you need a sentence here. We don't have a subject. Then it is not a complete sentence. Okay. That I saw it twice. That's right. Then this sentence would be correct. Okay. Then let's do some sentence pattern because all the time we can switch so that to such that the two sentence pattern you can switch you can switch the two sentence pattern so let's do some practice about it okay okay so let's do it i really like this sentence so that's why i mentioned this sentence twice because i really love this sentence <laughs> don't mind okay okay let's switch the two sentence pattern about so that and such that let's do it together okay and let's see if you can answer the question okay richard is so handsome that every lady loves him yeah that's right and right now i need to use the word man to switch this so that sentence to such that sentence pattern okay so equals richard is such blank that every lady loves him i hope so seriously yeah so guys i don't tell you the answer right now please everyone practices it you use the word man and to complete this sentence how should you do okay richard is so handsome that every lady loves him how can you do this sentence richard is such blank that every lady loves him how should you do it how can you change that and that means the same okay and you use the word man how to do it because all the time we use a noun with such right oh you're right very good very good lots of people you know get the right answer richard is such a a handsome man once again Richard is such a handsome man that every lady loves him. Very good. Then right now you know how to switch the two sentence patterns. And this is very important. You should practice it all the time. And let's have another practice. Okay, let's practice more. Number two, it was such a sunny day that nobody wanted to stay at home. How to switch this such that sentence pattern to so that sentence pattern. Once again, it was such a sunny day that nobody wanted to stay at home. The day was so blank that nobody wanted to stay at home. Then what's the answer? What's the answer? Take it out. It was such a sunny day that nobody wanted to stay at home. The day was so blank that nobody wanted to stay at home. What's the answer? Remember that all the time we should follow with one adjective or one adverb after so. So the answer is sunny, right? The day was so sunny that nobody wanted to stay at home okay you are so clever you know i really want like to talk to you guys because you love to join my class and you respond so well and i love that seriously and right now is the moment we really do some practice about so that and such that and let's see if you can really make it and let's see if you can get full marks okay let's do it Kelly works blank hard blank she will make it what's the answer okay tell me the answer okay what's the answer okay <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, can you see that? Kelly works so hard because that is an adverb that and you follow with one sentence, okay? How about the next one? Kelly is blank, a hardworking person, blank, she will make it. Okay, once again. Kelly is blank, a hardworking person, blank, she will make it. How about the answer? Yeah, you can see a noun here and don't forget the article here. Kelly is such, right, such a hardworking person, a noun, that follow with one sentence, okay? This is not so difficult because you know all the grammar rule here. Number two, it is blank, uh, fresh water, blank, and the is satisfied with it. Again, it is blank, fresh water, and uh, blank, Eddie is satisfied with it. What's the answer? What's the answer? Okay, you see fresh water? Water is a noun, but water is an uncountable noun. So you don't have use a or an here. You don't have to use that because water is an uncountable word. Okay, we use such here, such plus one noun, and that, okay, that, okay, let's see another one. The water is fresh, is an adjective. That's right, so fresh that Andy is satisfied with it. Very good, very good. Yeah, so the rules are all the same. We just do more practice and then everything will be okay. You can master this sentence pattern, okay. Number three, the computer is blank, expensive. You know, you don't have to see the rest of the sentence and you can fill in the answer. What is the answer? Expensive is an adjective, so we use so. That's right. And that Judy can't afford to buy it. That, and you use a sentence after it, okay? It is very simple. Okay, let's go on. It is blank, an expensive computer. You don't have to see the rest of the sentence, then you know the answer because you see a noun here. We use such, right? It is such an expensive computer that Judy can't afford to buy it. We use that plus one sentence here, a close, okay, a close. You see? It's not so hard, right? Let's go on. Let's do some more practice. Number four, Matt is blank, an honest man. And we don't have to see the rest of the sentence, then we can get the answer. The answer is such, right? Such. And that, I trust him. I trust him is a sentence, and this part is correct. Okay, and let's go on. Matt is blank, honest. We don't need to see the rest of the sentence thing. We got the right answer. So, right? Because honest is an adjective. So honest that I trust him. Okay, that plus one sentence here. Yeah, very good. Wow, you're so smart. Seriously, you're so smart. Okay, number five. It is blank, nice weather. You know, you don't have to see the rest of the sentence, then you got the answer. What's the answer? Think about it. And remember, weather is an uncountable word. You don't have to use a or an here, because weather is an uncountable word. Remember that if you see a countable word, add a or an. If you see an uncountable word, you don't have to use a or an. The answer is such, right? Such. Very good, because it is a noun. And that, era doesn't want to stay at home. Okay, that's the sentence. We use that, and this sentence is correct. Okay, equals, the weather is pl a blank, nice. So nice, so nice. That, 
Era doesn't want to stay at home. Okay, you know this is very simple. But why should we do so many questions? Because we need more practice. Okay, number six. Tony is blank, a handsome boy. Okay, it is a noun. So such, right? That we when want to talk to him. We want to talk to him. Yeah, this is a sentence, so that's correct. Hello, manin manitorm. Yeah. Okay. Tony is such a handsome boy that we want to talk to him. And the next one equals Tony is okay, we see handsome here. Handsome is an adjective. So we use what? Think about it. You're right, we use so here. So handsome. It should be Richard, not Tony. What's going on here? Okay, that plus one sentence. Let's check it out if it is a sentence or not. We want to talk to him. Yeah, it is a sentence. Then this is correct. Okay, that. Okay, the last one. Hello, good morning. Number seven. Andy was blank lazy. What about this? Lazy is an adjective, right? We use such or so. Yeah, we use so here. Andy was so lazy that he felt English. Well, it's not good. Okay, so remember that we have to check it out whether or not it is a sentence after that. Okay. So this is that, okay? This is let that, okay? So lazy that, very good. And equals Andy was such blank that he felt English. We all the time we have we have to check out this part. You have to see whether or not it is a sentence after that because sometimes in some big text or exams they just test you something like this. This is the key point, okay? So. Andy was such, of course, we should follow with a num. So think about it. What should we do in this blank? Think about it. I don't tell, the, tell you the answer right now. You think about it in your mind. Andy was blank, la uh, so lazy that he felt English. Andy was such blank that he felt English. Okay, I'll tell you the answer, okay? You can say something like this. Andy was such a, a lazy student that he felt English, okay? Of course, you can also say something like this. Andy was such a lazy boy, a lazy boy. Remember, you have to use a noun in such that sentence pattern okay remember to use num here andy was such a lazy boy or a lazy student that he felt english okay so that's our last quiz and hopefully and hopefully you get full marks about all these questions and uh, hopefully you learn something different today. And uh, you know, we have to learn every day. Don't stop learning. Every day we just learn a little bit. We learn something new. We learn something about grammar. We learn something about vocabulary. And uh, we improve every day. Don't stop learning. You know, it's, it is very important because if you know more about English, you know in the future, you can find a better job. You can sharpen your spoken English as well because grammar, I think English grammar is very important when you speak English because like in my country, I don't have lots of foreign friends around. So I don't have lots of opportunities to practice English. I mean the speaking. So if you can master English grammar, then you understand that English grammar is just like your teacher. Whenever you want to say one sentence in English, 
You think about that in English grammar, and you can decide whether or not this sentence is correct. So I think grammar is important. So all the time we learn a little bit every day, then we improve a little. Then you know day after day, finally, eventually, we will reach our goal. We will get to our destination. So, yeah, <laughs> thank you. And uh, be hardworking, be diligent, be studious, and I'll see you next time. And uh, remember, uh, if you want to see more lessons from me, you can visit my YouTube channel, and uh, I will share something about English grammar or something about English vocabulary every day. And uh, you can visit my YouTube channel, and you can learn something different from my YouTube channel. And see you next time. Bye bye.